Hi there, in this video we're going to go through setting up stage probability mapping. This is so that when you have a potential, whatever you have named your potential, that you have appropriate stages in there. Let's have a look at what I have. These are the default ones here. I've added a few at the end. So basically, depending on what stage it's at, it assigns it a probability. And you'll also note that when you are in a potential, that you've got this handy dandy pipeline here. So I can jump it over, pretty sure that one's closed lost, and it'll show me where I'm at. It'll also, also show the expected revenue based on the probability. Let's go into how to achieve that. You will go into setup, customization, modules, find your potentials module, click on the cog, go to stage probability mapping. And then you can simply modify the names. Maybe I'll do check they're not a tire kicker. Then I assign the probability, depending on how clearly defined your sales process is, that might be a bit of a rough guess, but you may as well put something in. And then for forecast type, if that stage is before closing, we'll talk about what closing means later on, you'll choose open, otherwise you'll use closed one or closed lost. And then in the forecast category, you have the option of making it pipeline closed or omitted. That relates to the forecast module. Let's quickly go through that. If I go here, forecast module, I'll do a separate video on this, but just very quickly. It's a way of setting up targets for your organization. So if I put in a certain dollar amount, then I can see how much is in pipeline project versus achieve. Basically achieved is the ones that are closed one and pipeline is the pipeline stages. And omitted means that it won't end up in the pipeline. Okay, so that part is hopefully clear. You can modify the names, modify the probabilities. If you don't like a stage, you can just delete it by clicking the minus. You can add new stages by clicking on the plus. And you'll see here at this stage, I, the way that I think about it is I don't consider a potential fully closed until I receive all of the money from the client. And in order to receive all the money, I have to do a good job and finish off the project. So 100% probability is when full payment is received for me. That's not necessarily the way that you'll do it, but for me, it's really important that I complete projects. So I make that the key thing, because it's pretty easy often to win a sale, but delivering the work can sometimes be a bit of extra effort. So what I've done here, at full payment received, I mark that the closed one step. And the forecast category is closed, which will map to the achieved section. And then after that, I've added in a few extra stages, public feedback requested, asking people to rate me on Google My Business, and then public feedback received or not applicable. So those then, if we go back and look at some of the projects, you'll note the blue parts, they're all closed one. I can drag it along. And then after that, the red parts are closed lost. 
I have multiple versions of closed lost. I have generic closed lost. I've closed lost to competition. If I'm bidding with other people and the client goes with another contractor and I have closed not interesting if I decide that I'm not really interested in the project. You'll note that the forecast category in this case is omitted because I don't want that to appear in my forecasts. That would give a misleading picture of how well I'm doing against my goals. And the forecast type is closed lost. To save it, you just click save. I won't click save in this case because I've messed up my pipeline and I don't really want to save it. If you do that, you can just click cancel. Hopefully that explains stage probability mapping for you.